But we've had things get delayed, like you don't mess with the Zohan. So Adam says to me, Adam Sandler, do you want to write this movie with Robert Smigel about a hairdresser, who, you know, a, Mossad, a Mossad agent in Israel who wants to move in America, to America and retire and be a hairdresser. <laughs> and so I worked on that with Robert Smigel, who's the best comedy writer in the world. So we, we had a script we really liked in like 2000, around that time. And then 9-11 happens. And we were like, oh, I guess you can't do that now. Like everything about what we're satirizing is much more heated. Right. I think we, we put it in a trunk before 9-11 when there was the Intifada a year or two before that. And then every once in a while, we would take a run at, could you rewrite it? I thought after 9-11, there was a way to do the movie about a cell, a terrorist cell. And I, I, I was saying, you know, can't we do it about, like Rob Schneider is in a terrorist cell and he slowly falls in love with America. And then in the end, he doesn't want to do it. And then he teams up with Adam. And then that didn't happen. Right. And and probably shouldn't have. Uh, <laughs> and then one day, Sandler just called me and just said, we're going to do, you don't mess with the Zohan. And that was 10 years later. 10 years and, later. And Smigel rewrote it and got it ready to go. And it was a big hit and hit a window where people were willing to laugh about conflict and because it really was a satire of the ridiculousness of people fighting and not understanding each other not caring about each other i mean it's a very silly right. movie but that was the idea that you could do a really goofy movie that at its heart was about that it's ridiculous that this that it's just an endless cycle of of violence. We, obviously, we weren't getting into any real issues right. of, of the Middle East, but somehow it happened at a time when it had quieted down enough where people really enjoyed the movie. Yeah. Do you miss any project from yesteryear? Like over the years, all these projects you have, is there one that you're just like, gotta make that someday? Gotta make that someday.